Good Minecraft morning. It's me, Crane Bramp, the Minecraft admin and the owner of the Mindsteria Minigame Network. Back for another plugin review, plugin setup tutorial. If you like plugin setup tutorials and other technical Minecraft information, just click on that subscribe link down below and get your weekly, sometimes more, dose of Minecraftian goodness. I also do various other types of videos, such as uh, Steam Early Access gameplay and uh, game day release gameplay, but admin tutorials are definitely one of my favorites, and that's what we're out to do today. If you have a specific plugin that you'd like me to review or show you how to set up, or just an idea for a technical video, then put it in the comments below, and if I pick your suggestion, I'll give you a shout out in the video, and if you're running a server yourself, then I'll be happy to show the link to your server in that video. So, the plugin that we're going to be reviewing today is called Advanced Report. Uh, it is put out by Mcraft Gamer 35. Uh, it is currently for 1.7, 1.8, and 1.9, and is in version 1.0.9.2. Um, it has over 4,000 downloads at the moment. Um, it was released back in 2015 in April, so it's just over a year old, and uh, it is a free plugin. So. Um, this is basically a reporting plugin that allows your players to report to you and your mods or whoever has the permission to see these reports. Um, reports of, it could be bugs, you could report a player, um, you could report just about anything really, but it's primarily meant for you to report other players. Um, the commands uh, are pretty simple. Also, the permissions are pretty simple. We'll do permissions first. They start with uh, player dot and report dot. Uh, so player dot report is permission for slash report. That actually allows the player to report someone. And you have reports dot C uh, so that someone can see when a report is filed. It's like a notify permission. Reports dot view, permission for slash reports. Uh, reports dot clear. Uh, reports.toggle, reports.advanced, um, staff, and check. Clear is for you to clear the reports. Toggle is for you to toggle uh, the reports on and off. In other words, being able to see the notifications. Um, reports.advanced is for the slash advanced command. Uh, reports.staff is permission for the slash AR command. And reports.check is, is permission for the list reports. So you can actually check and see what's been done. So the base command is report and then the player, and then the reason. Both of these are required. Um, and this basically lets you report a player for whatever you happen to want to do. Um, slash reports player checks reports that a player has and tells you their suspicion level. We'll get into that here in a moment. Clear reports lets you clear a certain player's reports. Uh, toggle reports on and off, of course, toggle viewing the reports, the notifications. Um, so if you're like me and you were doing a video or something and didn't want a bunch of reports popping up while you were doing it, you could toggle them off. Uh, set prefix allows you to set the prefix for each message. You must be opt to do this, and then you must reload the uh, server or restart it. Um, slash advanced report uh, gives you additional plugin information and uh, some uh, uh, information. Uh, list reports shows reports with reasons when you're offline. This is not completed yet. There'll be errors, so I'm not going to get into this at the moment. And then slash AR is the main plugin control panel. Um, he does have a few other things like some error codes, and uh, he uh, he said that more error codes will be added in the future for easier support on bugs. Uh, this uh, plugin is actually produced for his network uh, that he uses it on, and he uses it for his administrators and his staff. Uh, so it's well tested before each uh, version is released, and uh, you can pretty much uh, assume that there's not going to be, if there are any bugs, they're going to be minor. So let's take a look. Uh, installation uh, is pretty normal. This is, uh, as usual, my, uh, my test and development server down on my VMware cloud in the basement. Um, you, you download the plugin, you put it in your plugins directory. Now, there is one thing that's a little bit different, and I have not started the server yet because I want to show this to you. Normally, you will drag the plugin into your uh, plugins folder. You will hit start, which I will do now, and it will create. Um, oh, it didn't start. There we go. Uh, it will create a folder with the config files in it. Well, to begin with, when the plugin fires up, as you can see, this is advanced reward. reward 
port and we will walk here, it will not create a folder to begin with. Um, the primary reason for this is because unlike 99% of the plugins that I know of, this plugin has no configurable options whatsoever except for configuring the prefix to the uh, messages that it gives out. You cannot edit the messages. You cannot edit uh, anything else in it. And we'll get to that in a minute. Um, the When it creates a folder is when a report is first made because that's where it keeps the information about the report. Or if a report hasn't been filed yet and you hit uh, shut the server down, as I just did, if you'll watch, it creates an advanced report folder then and creates a config.yml and all it has is the number of reports, which is zero and nothing in it. So um, let's go on and start the server back up and then we'll go in and cover some of the commands and show you how this plugin works. Um, even though this plugin is not configurable, um, it is a very good plugin. It works flawlessly. Um, and I'll walk you through uh, some of the ways that it uh, uh, it works. So we'll go on and log in. Um, the primary uh, command is report. And if we just type slash report, it will tell you uh, the usage is slash report player and reason. So let's do report myself. Um, and... He's a hacker dude. So, now, there's a couple of things that are happening here. One, this is the prefix that I was talking about that you can change with the command. Um, it tells me that my report has been filed. And then since I have the permission to see the reports that are being filed, I also get told that CraneBramp has reported CraneBramp for, and then I get the reason. Um, if I go back to the server and take a look in the plugins directory now at the config.yml file, it will show that CraneBramp has filed one report. So let's go back. Uh, next one is reports and then the player name. So if I check out CraneBramp, it will tell me that he has one report against him and the player has low suspicion. Now we'll cover the suspicion and stuff just a little bit later on in the uh, in the plugin, but just suffice to say for now that the more uh, reports you have, the higher your suspicion goes. I can also clear reports for a player, and I have cleared Crane Brant's reports. And if I do report to Crane Brant, he has zero reports and he has low suspicion. I can also toggle reports. And it will be on or off. Since it's on, I will turn it off. And if I do report Crane Bramp, he's a hacker dude. It just tells me that the report has been filed. Now that I've toggled the reports off, I no longer get notifications that a report has been filed. So let's turn them back on. All right, so the next thing is advanced, and, I, and I'll leave, uh, leave the report as it is for right now. Advanced. And it will tell me that there have been two reports since the last server restart, and the server has low vulnerability with no moderation needed. Again, we'll cover this vulnerability issue here uh, in a little bit. Uh, the next... Uh, command is set prefix. So if I wanted to change this little thing right here that says report to oh, Crane Bramp's uh, super server reports, it will tell me that the prefix is successfully changed and reload for the changes to go into effect. Now if I go back and I look in the config, you'll notice that there is now a prefix with a space and then my prefix. So if you wanted to add that manually to the config, you could. However, as I said, it does not take place until such time as I restart the server or reload it. So the next command to cover is advanced report, which will give us some additional plugin information. 
and it will tell me advanced report. It gives me a clickable uh, URL where I can look. Plugin is developed by uh, Laflexid. I'm sorry if I slaughtered your name. You'll have to forgive me. Better known as MCraft Gamer 35. Please run AR slash help for all the commands. Um, and you will remember that slash AR is the main plugin control panel. Uh, the next one is list reports. List reports. And it will just show me advanced report, page one of, looks like infinite possibly. Uh, and it tells me all my, uh, all my reports, uh, all my players, and so forth. And then the last command is AR, which is listed as the main plugin control panel. If you type just AR, it tells you to type AR help, which seems to be the only command for AR. And it just tells you that it's the uh, help page, and it gives you a list of all the things that are there. So, very, very simple plugin. Works very simply. Uh, easy to use. Um, the only lack that I find with this, and 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 let me make uh, a really quick point as I go into this, as I always do when I talk about things that I would like to see. These are things that I, as a network owner, would like to see. I'm not. The rating that I give a plugin is based on the features that it has now and how it functions now. The when I talk about what I would like to see. This is in no kind of way a reflection bad on the plugin. This is just what I would want if someone asked me a wish list for this. So let's run back to the server uh, to the uh, to the server, and I will talk about a few of the things that I would like to see. Uh, one, configurable messages. Um, as I said, this plugin has no configuration file, so other than the prefix, you can't change it. So you can't change. Any of what it says, you can't set any kind of message colors or anything else. Now, for a lot of people, that is not a big deal, and they would prefer it because this is the ultimate drag and drop use right off the bat plugin. Everything is pre set up for you. Everything uh, as a default works outside of the box, and I'll give that five stars. Myself, I would like to see some configurability. But as it works, it's a great plugin. I would like to see a reload command in game. Uh, as it is right now, you have to reload the server or the uh, uh, or restart the server. Um, another thing is I'd like to see an explanation or configurability of the vulnerability rating. Right now, we just know that the more reports someone gets, uh, the higher their vulnerability goes, uh, from low to medium to high, so on. Um, but we don't know at what those thresholds are or anything else. As a server owner and a network owner who um, is kind of fanatical about having configuration, I would love to see um, I, some config options to do that myself. Uh, as a network owner, I would love to see my SQL support. Um, I have over 100 servers on the Mindsteria network and my SQL support to make sure that reports and stuff are synced Network-wide is critical for me. Again, though, this is not a knock against how the plugin is. Like I said, this is the ultimate drag-and-drop plugin. And for someone that is running a single server or doesn't have a problem with the reports being stored on each server, this is an awesome plugin. And I would like to be able to see a GUI where I could see the reports kind of uh, hover over them and stuff with Mindsteria. Um, I'm really big into GUIs and doing GUIs for just about everything. So when I see a plugin that doesn't have one, it's always on my wish list. All right, so let's uh, let's let's talk about this in just a wrap up thing. Um, overall, I would give this plugin five stars for what it's designed to be. Um, the ease of use and setup, I would give it five stars. Uh, the aesthetics, I would give it a three, which is just a it's not a knock and it's not. Uh, any pluses to it. It's just a middle-of-the-road thing. Um, the aesthetics look great as they are. Um, I would just like to be able to see some some changes in the uh, in the server colors and the message colors. And functionality, I would give this a five. So as the plugin stands and as it's meant to work, I would give this overall a five. For my wish list, I would probably give this about a three and a half, maybe a four. So uh, that is um, 
advanced reports by InCraft Gamer 35. You'll find the link to the plugin down below. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, the review. Remember to support developers like this who get out there and use their own time and provide these plugins for free. Have a great Minecraft day.